Hey, we back. I'm here on a new server which I have just created and I've got my day on it. And so today I am going to be doing like um how to set up server um, settings which is going to be really short because it's a lot easier than people think it is. It's like nothing to do. Um, but it's another aspect of my day that I have not talked about yet, so hence I'm going to explain. Apparently, I'm just going to explain literally everything. That is that is the plan. Um, so what do you do? You've got my day in your server, you know. Um, you probably start by making a day channel to do them. There you go. Another my day channel. And go in here. Oh. Oh yeah, I did, I did, I did that. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't know why I did that. I also don't know why I deleted the join message from the day. That's another thing that I don't know why I did. I did some weird things. So you know, we we can clear our uh, permissions from the day here. You know, this isn't even the day stuff. You know, this is just uh, this is just Discord stuff. Uh, it should be able to see this anyway, so look, here we go, we find my command, doesn't work, it's not here, go on my day channel, works. Well, it would work if it sent a message. Alright, so Discord hates me, um, but yeah, there you go, that's not even, uh, there you go, uh, that's not my day though, that's Discord, so let's move on. Um, we can start by taking a quick look at help, I'll put it in the channel, we'll get channel help. Here we go. So we have the help page here. Um, oh, there's more. Fantastic. Just what I always wanted. Um, we can start by doing like some uh, channel scripts as well. Um, if you don't want to be fiddling about with Discord perms, that's another way to do it. The channel script. Here we go. Um, yeah. This stuff. So if you want um, commands to only work in your Meday channel, instead of having to change the perms every time, what you can do is you can um, do something like this. Channel strict. There you go. And that should be every command. So look, we, we can we can prove that that works. We can give it permissions back in the other channel. You can see it, it can now see the channel that commands don't work. And they do work. Um if you want it to not send this message as well, then there is um Toggle silent, silent spelling. Here, yeah, so you can put toggle silent two on. There you go. Again, still works here and here. Nothing. And you haven't even fiddled with disk perms, so you're good. Um, now you want to be uh, probably um, looking through your settings. You can just go through the desktop page and figure stuff out. Probably want to be looking. And commands and a couple of other things, settings, server options, you know, stuff like that. But I'm just going to go straight to the settings menu. Here we have server settings. Uh, so obviously, you know, you've got the standard stuff, Linux language, whatever. Um, so let's quickly go through these, right? Uh, set claim. You probably want to leave this on default, um, which is also minimum. Uh, number between 60 and 600. Um, example, 122 hours interval between each claim. Values above 180 available to everyone. Below that, you need premium. So this is minimum. If you want to have a weird server, you can set it at one claim per 10 hours, but you know, that's down to you, I guess. Most people are just going to leave this in default. Exact minute of reset, you might want to f uh, fiddle with this for personal convenience. Um, but generally, it doesn't make any difference to anything. Um, just have it whenever you like. 
Um, I've got everything reset whenever. 15 passed, 56 passed, 37 passed, uh, 28 passed, 24 passed. On the hour, actually, 8 passed. Now this is 26 passed, but I stopped doing stuff there. 21 passed, 23 passed. I'm listening, watch me go. Uh, 20, uh, no, uh, 54 passed, and 8 passed. That's all the service that I've ever been a part of. And their respective midday reset time. If you are active in the server, you will remember. That was doing. That sounded like a Minecraft thing. I don't have Minecraft. Okay. Right. Um, yeah, so you'll just remember them as long as you're active. So don't worry about it too much. Probably, again, leave it in default. Reset shifted, again, just personal convenience. I try to keep all my servers resetting in the same hour. What with not having perms on a lot of them doesn't work. This one is one hour out. But actually, all of the others reset on the same hour. You can fiddle with that with this. And just run the command, see what it does, see what you like. Once per hour. This is something you probably want to change. You can have it go up to 13. Uh... Okay, no, never mind, it's only 10 now. <laughs> they keep changing it. Run the command and see what the current max is. You probably want it on 10. That's not to say you have to have it on 10. On this server, we have it on 3. No, you know, you can have it on whatever you like. Um, but uh, probably you want it on max. You probably want to be getting as many rolls as possible because obviously that means you're rolling the good waifus. You're getting the good keys, the extra caca, whatever you like. You know, you get it. Um, what you have to remember though is that everyone gets less rolls, so um, if you want it to take a bit longer for the top stuff to be claimed, then consider reducing rolls. This is why we have them only at two on here, because that means that uh, it takes ages to claim all the top stuff. So, so, yeah, it takes ages to claim all the top stuff, so we, we get to go for a bit longer. It's, it's more fun in my opinion, but yeah, you probably want it max. Next setting, what's next? Time before claim reaction expires. This is something you are going to want to change. It should always be at max, and the default is not max. It can be at 45. So you want to set it on 45, unless you're weird. I have never seen anyone not set it at 45. I don't see any reason to not set it at 45. But I'm sure there is a reason somewhere out there. Um, I mean, I guess if you want everyone to be super actively watching the channel, but that's just obsessive. So yeah, you want to set this on forty-five. Uh, so let's 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 run that one. Set time at forty-five. The first command that we are actually running. There we go. You see how it doesn't take much effort to do this. This is we've gone through these settings, but we didn't actually need to change anything. Uh, set there two. I think this is generally a good set there. Actually, I like set there two. Um, you can have it on whatever you want. Probably when you're starting out a server, you will want it on set layer 1. This means you roll more Kakua. Mm, it's up to you if you want to roll more Kakua or not. And the other thing that you have to remember is that curse layer exists um, and is limited between 1 and the current set layer. So if you want to roll more Kakua, you can use curse layer. It, it is arguable that you should put set layer on 4 and then just have curse layer if people want to. Uh, to roll Kakura, and then everyone gets their own choice. That's quite a nice way of doing it. Um, but again, that's up to you. Um, most servers set it on set layer 1. I normally leave it at default, which is set layer 2. You can do whatever you want. Uh, game mode, you probably wouldn't want to keep it on game mode 1. Game mode 1 is generally considered better. Uh, game mode 2 does have its advantages. Uh, it certainly does, but uh, I would keep it on game mode 1. Uh, game mode 2 just uh, basically changes the way that disables work. It means you can't roll the lower ranked characters, and most people want to roll a, f a few at least of the lower ranked characters, so yeah. I'd leave it on game mode 1, then people can use disables however they like. Uh, that's up to you then. Uh, channel instance, you're just going to want to keep that on 1. If you want to make another channel, then you probably know what you're doing already, and you don't need to listen to me. Um, but that'll come later, and you can set a channel to be a different channel instance if you want. It's basically just making another Madei server on the same server. So, yeah, you can fiddle with that yourself, though. 
figure out how that works. It's pretty simple. Uh, this stuff, I normally leave them um, off. You can have them on. Uh, this basically just means, say you've done a roll, nothing shows up, and then... Is, is, is that what the command was? No, it, it wasn't. What was it? Oh no, that was it. Oh, no build. Okay. There we go. Oh, is this the wrong setting? Uh, characters ranking by number of times disabled. So that is going to be like, um, say we said for dying the thanks, they will get put as zero. That's what that does. In, a, in other words, it's not something you want. So don't bother with that. Don't bother with that one, and don't bother with this one. This is the one that I meant. Which one did I mean? Yeah, I did mean this. So look, we can do uh, toggle rolls. I see it's been split up there. That's why I, I was getting confused, because it's now been split up. Settings has slightly changed, apparently. So yeah, enable disable the display of time ranks during the rolls, lights uh, during the rolls, and capital during the rolls. I normally turn this one off and leave the other two on. Uh, sorry, other way around. Leave these two off, turn this one on because Kappa is calculated from plain and likes anyway, so having all three of them doesn't really help. Um, so this gives a better overview of uh, how high ranked a character is, you know, how, how much they're worth when you divorce them, how much people like them, how much people want them, whereas this is only half the story, you know. Some servers put all three on. Now if we go over to here, find a role, Oh no, we haven't got all three here. You see we've got claims and capital there. This doesn't really give you any more information than this does though, so there's not much point. So yeah, I would say switch this off. So let's do that. Here we go. Toggle capital rolls. Now if we go back up to settings, what else have we got? Rolls sniping. You can do that if you like. Default is perfectly fine. Um, there's the toggles. Um, which you can do if you want, there's also other ones, so there's some time disturbing imagery here, um, but there is also one for Western, and in real life people, uh, a couple of others. You can fiddle about with them if you like, I'm sure there's a list of them somewhere, um, but generally you, you don't need to bother with them too much. Um, yeah, roll sniping, you can take a look at this command, um, I think zero is perfectly fine. Uh, my favourite actually is 4. I do like 4, 4 is good, but it's kind of abusive, so eh. And a lot of servers go with 2. I don't like 2, but you can have whatever you like. If you want to read this, then uh, read it. Or type the command yourself and then read it. Um, either way, it's, it's fairly self-explanatory. You, you can pick how you want to organise it in settings and how you want to have uh, snipes. Then uh, there's Reacts, which are disabled. Um, you're going to want to keep it this way because um, automatic Reacts are cool, but you only get 7 base rolls, which you don't want. You want 10. That's more than 7, right? So, yeah, I would leave it on 0 if I were you, but if you really like the automatic Reacts, you can put it on 2. You know, Whatever, or one if you feel you're crazy, like who, who cares? Uh, have a look at that and uh, decide what you want. Um, then what else is there? Um, Kepler sniping, this is exactly the same as um, Rolls sniping, it's just for Kepler instead. Limit of uh, characters per room, you don't bother changing this, no one's realistically going to get to this point for years probably, so <laughs> you should be fine. Uh, reacts disabled, we discussed that, custom reacts, uh, this is if you, if you want to be fancy, you know, you can just add your own emojis instead of the hearts, of course, the hearts don't appear now anyway, so it doesn't help, but <laughs> back when the hearts appeared it was nice, and if you put toggle react 2 on, you still get them. So it's nice. Um, Kepler calculation, I mean, just, yeah, leave that on, it just does maths, basically. 
Uh, capital value displayed during ranks. That. We already talked about that. Okay. And then uh, wish protect. Again, you want that enabled, so just leave that one. Uh, and that's about KLs, um, which is a clearly late game thing. But if you turn it off, then you're just completely deleting an upgrade, which people can buy with capital, so don't do that. <laughs> basically. Uh, and that's about it for your uh, settings. Um, now you just need to get rolling, eh? No, you just need to get rolling. Um, you know, you can come on and do your rolls, do your uh, claims, whatever else. And it should be working nicely. Um, we get our claim every three hours, rolls every hour, ten of them. Well, it says nine, but I would have used one. And etc. Everything is lovely. So that's actually it. Um, you can see how many commands we actually had to run. Most of them was just checking stuff. Realistically, there's only about three commands here that we ran. Um, we ran Purseware and Setware, but that's unnecessary. We need to run this. Set timer is important. Set there, reasonably important if you want to do that. You don't have to though, so whatever. Um, and then uh, toggle pack of rolls. You, you want to have that one as well. Um, the final one is uh, capital trading, which I didn't mention. Yeah, here we go, capital trading. You want to have this one as well. Um, this does what it says on the tin, it enables capital to be traded, you know. I don't know why it's off by default, but you probably want it to, to be on. So yeah, there you go. That's four commands. Four commands that you roll, uh, that you run. Toggle capital trade. Um, toggle capital rolls. Set timer, and if you want, set them. The other stuff really doesn't matter. Do what you like. Fill around with the settings and, and see what suits you best. Alright. So that's all of that. Um, I will next do your personal settings tomorrow. You'll see that. That'll be great. Alright, bye!